Welcome to Excel Dynamic Chart Series number two. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Excel Dynamic Charts. And number two, we want to see how filtering and sorting a data set will filter and sort the chart. Let's first create a uh, column chart on the sheet. Now I'm going to use control asterisk to highlight the whole data set and then I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut that will put the default chart on this sheet. By the way if you want to uh, change the default chart just search YouTube for uh, default Excel chart and I have a video on that. Alt F1. I'm going to click there, delete that, uh, delete those, uh, and now let's go back to our data set, click in one cell, and I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut. I have a keyboard shortcut for earlier versions up here. Click in one cell, uh, 2007 and 10, Control Shift L, and that adds the uh, auto filter. It is a toggle, so I can Control Shift L, and it toggles. Now let's filter this. I just want to see the top five. I'm going to click here. Uh, number filters and there's lots of amazing options with filter in 2007 and 10. It's just profound. Um, this is number filters because we are in a number column. You have date filters over here uh, which are quite amazing. Alright, I'm going to click uh, number filters, top 10 and I'm going to say top 5. All right. Oh, what do we do? I'm going to control Z always when you're doing this kind of hiding and filtering. You got to change the property. So I go up to format, size, and then down here off to the size is the dialog launcher. And then you say properties, don't move or size. Now I'm going to come over here and say number filter top 10 and I'll say top 5. So now, oh, what's this? This is actually a common problem with um, uh, dates uh, in various situations. The way to fix this, because it's, it's thinking, it's seeing all the labels there, but we can simply click on this axis, Control-1, and under Axis Options right here, Axis Type, we just click Text. Close. Um, all right, now I'm going to click on the columns, control one, let's say uh, fill, I'm going to vary the colors, uh, uh, right click add data labels. Alright, so we filtered, right, it shows us, but I would like to see the dates in um, proper order, 7, 12, 16, 20, oh, it already, they already are. I already did this before. Uh, let's uh, let's do it this way. Let's see the biggest first, and uh, so right click sort or um, use whatever A to Z, Z to A button that you want in the ribbon. I'm going to click Z to A, and just like that. So sort and filter uh, work and will affect the data in the chart. All right, we'll see you next dynamic chart trick.